Hello there, I'm Dr. Jim. Thanks for stopping by. My topic today, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, and end-of-life care. This is a part of a series that I've recently put together out of a very strong interest in the neurodegenerative disorders. This one, though, tends to be especially cruel. The neurodegenerative disorders that I talk about include Alzheimer's disease, Huntington's, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, even HIV and aging. Um, but ALS is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, and this is a tough one. It's named after the famous first baseman who played with the New York Yankees between 1923 and 1939. ALS is a devastating, terminal, neurodegenerative disease that has a highly predictable clinical course. It is a motor neuron disease, and it's progressive, incurable, and it is considered a neuromuscular disease that attacks nerve cells and pathways in both the brain and the spinal cord. Roughly 20,000 Americans currently have ALS, and around 6,000 new cases are diagnosed every single year. Symptoms usually begin between the ages of 40 to 70, and ALS seems to be more prevalent in men than in women. So I, I do wanna talk about some of the symptoms. Um, people may first become aware that something is wrong when their hands start to become clumsy. And by that I mean fine motor skills, writing, taking a key and opening a lock, uh, typing on a keyboard become difficult. And eventually those types of symptoms progress where handwriting, unlocking a door, so on and so forth become very challenging or very difficult. Other people will experience a generalized weakness in the legs, and then they might start tripping and stumbling, falls become a serious risk. And one of the most difficult things about ALS and all of the neurodegenerative disorders is they're usually present. They're brewing, they're developing for some time before any signs or symptoms become recognizable. Generalized fatigue could be an early sign. And when symptoms start to occur, they generally begin in the hands and the feet. And then the symptoms start to travel inwards towards the center of the body. And in general, one side is initially more affected than the other side of the body. But I have a lot more to share with you. I wrote an article on this, and I, um, I hope you take some time to read it and, and share it with others. It, it is an important topic, and one that we need to know more about because we're taking care of a lot of these folks um, in different care settings throughout the country. So I also want to invite you to drjimcollins.com where we post a lot of information, articles, and other things. So check it out. Until next time, I'm Dr. Jim. Take care.